we investigated uh, crystal style deodorants and we um, were able to obtain from the Stone Group Laboratories uh, an identification report on the deodorant stones from a couple different companies. What we found is that in the presence of these crystal stones, you will find aluminum. Uh, it has been claimed that these do not uh, contain al aluminum, but they, on the element chart, uh, they are considered <coughs> aluminum. So w the, the issue with that is that because as a stone, or as if it's mixed with a water or alcohol, it can more readily uh, be absorbed into the underarms of the skin. When that happens, then the alum, because it's a weaker salt, is absorbed into the body that the, we have not seen anything uh, that would say scientifically prove that they are, are safe. Um, what we have seen are cosmetic claims of, because people are personally satisfied with them, but the, the one that they found that the DNA is, is damaged more from a crystal style deodorant than when an antiperspirant. An antiperspirant has many moisturizers to cut down on the inflammation because of the, the aluminums. And there are several different aluminums. And most people are, are confused that uh, uh, aluminums are, are, can be different components, but they all are, have no benefit to the human body. So um, we have lymph nodes that are able to get rid of the naturally occurring uh, aluminum and different components, but today, because we, we suppress with aluminum, with antiperspirants and crystal deodorant, the naturally occurring and the ones we get maybe in medicines uh, or have difficulty getting out of the endarm. So you're actually backing up the reservoir and forming um, stagnant fluids that may create issues uh, and health issues later on. Uh, many of these have not been investigated, but we, we do know that the, uh, from Dr. Exley, that the, the uh, alum salts have been found in higher concentrations in the cyst fluids in women's breasts and in the tumors, whereas you could have a blood test for uh, aluminum, but they would not be able to detect because the majority of the aluminum would be uh, in the, the, the cis fluid itself. So we, we think aluminum is a big issue, whether intake or exhaust, um, and that the free flow should, should be taken care of. What we do here at Aerobolix is that we found that we put a stronger salt in a seaweed paste with our, our coriander seed, uh, as we had mentioned before, and the, the seaweed, as a stronger salt by osmosis, uh, will help absorb and cleanse out the sweat ducts. So at first, initially, people will have some, maybe some um, additional odors, but it's, it's cleaning the kitchen sink that, you know, we, it's a process of cleaning out, and so we have to be a little bit patient. But we do this at nighttime. We ask people to do a couple swipes at nighttime and, and wear a, a, a shirt that can absorb the fluids. And uh, after about 30 nights, you'll notice a, a big difference. And in fact, um, some people, after they use the, the detox, after the first 30 nights, find out they don't even have to use a daytime deodorant because they flow um, uh, like much better. And they notice that the odors uh, have diminished to the point that it's just their natural body odors, which, um, can be very interesting. We, we find some pe people have a tendency to over apply antiperspirants. And this has a tendency to back up a, a lot of stagnant fluids. And so when we try to reverse that issue, we, we, can, uh, we can really tax and, and test our patients uh, because we, we want immediate satisfaction. Um, so we, we find that you can back off and do it every other night or you can do it on the weekends as you, you, you go through the, the cleansing period. But we also find that depending on if you live in the city where you have a lot of, um, you have a lot of traffic and smog and, and other issues, that you may have to use this 
a, a couple extra times a week just to counterbalance the things that we breathe, drink, and eat. Um, uh, sometimes it's, it, we, you have people that have eaten a lot of processed food, and it's very difficult because garbage in is garbage out. So when there's a, a load adjustment on the diet, we see the big changes. The other thing I want to mention is that when we see people uh, that we, they've told us that they have used uh, antiperspirants or crystal style deodorants, uh, we, we see sometimes breakouts um, on, along the forehead because what happens when these fluids are trapped is that the microvessels um, have a way of emitting through the skin. And it, it's kind of a telltale sign that when we see it, we know somebody has a, a problem that these have backed up, and so you'll see a breakout in, in, in even teenagers who have just started to use antiperspirant along right below the, uh, the lymph nodes, and even along the neck they will be breaking out, and that usually is a sign that uh, uh, there's a backup and uh, that we, we need to cleanse out that underarm. Um, we, we effectively um, think that we, we, this is a, a great thing from um, when teenagers start to um, uh, have their underarms develop and um, in, in the ages about 9 and 10, that they need to cleanse this out because this is a time that their, their axilla, their underarm, is just getting ready because they, uh, the, uh, the, the parents have told us their, their feet and their, their sweat. And this is a sign also that if it's not working, they will sweat through the skin and put off uh, an odor that is not very pleasant for any of us. So by using this, we, we're flushing it out where it's supposed to be coming out on a continuous basis rather than to be stopping it and having the, to deal with the issue later on. So that's detox cleansing deodorant from herbolics restoratives.